Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to share with you a beautiful bridal eye makeup tutorial. And for today's look, I have created this teal green and purple half cut crease eye look. In case you are planning to wear a purple outfit or a green outfit, then this can be a perfect look for you. And I have hooded eyes. So along the way, I will be sharing with you so many tips and tricks to achieve a perfect cut crease on hooded eyes. So please do not skip any step. Before starting, if you are new to the channel, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare, and beauty related videos here on my channel. If those things interest you, then please consider subscribing. It will mean a lot to me. And if you are already a subscriber, then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I have already done my brows off camera. Uh, if you are interested to know my brow routine, I will link that video down in the description box. So make sure to check it out. Now I am just uh, cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. And for that, I am using my Wet and Wild Incognito Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And I am applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows. That is coming up next. You can use any concealer or eyeshadow primer that you have in your collection. Now I am just blending out the concealer. To set the concealer in place, I am taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 Light and I am just setting the concealer so that it does not crease. And for my eyes, first I am taking this beautiful purple shade from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I am applying it as my crease color. I have hooded eyes, you can see my natural crease right across my eyelid. So I am just creating a false crease for myself and I am slowly building it up to avoid any kind of patchiness. If you have hooded eyes, always try to place the color a little bit higher. That is the key of achieving a perfect eye look on hooded eyes. And I am using this brush from Morphe. I'm quite happy um, with the way it's looking. And now I am taking this beautiful purple pink uh, shade. It's a lighter shade. And I am blending out the edge of the previous shade so that there is a smooth and nice gradient effect. And again, I'm just slowly doing it to avoid any kind of patchiness. I am reapplying the first shade again because I lost some of the intensity during the blending process. Since I'm going to cut my crease, for that my crease has to be dark and defined. And now I am taking this matte black shade from the palette and I am applying it on my outer V area just to give my outer V area a little more depth, a little more smokiness. I like to apply a matte black eyeshadow on my outer V area whenever I am doing a brighter look. It's just my thing. And now I am cutting my crease and for that I am using this lip brush from Pugna Store and I am placing the concealer a little bit higher, you can see. Um, I am just creating a false crease, that's why I am just placing the concealer a little bit higher. Now I am taking my Garnier Micellar Water and with a Q-tip I am just removing um, the concealer and just be careful with this step, um, do not cross that line and uh, I just wanted to have a nice and clean canvas for my lid shade that's why I'm doing it uh, you can totally skip it and uh, use a full coverage concealer instead now I am just um, reapplying the concealer and again I am being very cautious here and very carefully I'm just blending it out For my lid shade, I am going with this beautiful uh, like sea green teal uh, shade from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. And I have applied my NYX Glitter Primer underneath, that's why the shadow is popping. And I am using my Morphe 124 Flat Shader Brush and I am just applying it all over on my eyelid. It's such a beautiful shade. To amp up the look further, I am taking this teal uh, glitter from my NYX Glitter Goals uh, Glitter Palette and I am applying it on top of that teal green shade. First, I am just applying it with my finger and then I switch to a brush just to have a nice and precise application. And now I am taking this particular like 
pinky purpley shimmer shade and I'm applying it between the uh, teal shade and that black eyeshadow and taking that uh, darker purple shade that was my crease color I am just applying it on the border of the cut crease just so that my cut crease looks even prominent if I am not using a glitter eyeliner on my cut crease I always like to follow this step now with my Essence eyeliner, I am just drawing a wing here and this is a brush tip eyeliner so it's easier to apply your eyeliner on top of a glitter uh, if you are using a brush tip. For tight lining, I am using my Milani eyeliner pencil in the shade After Dark. This is basically a matte black um, eyeliner pencil and now I am just smudging out my entire lower lash line using that matte dark purple shade and I am using this angled brush from Puna store. And I'm slowly doing it because I do not want to ruin my base. Just take a little by little product, tap up the excess and just slowly smudge it out. That is the key. Taking that uh, lighter purple shade, I'm just smoking out the border of the previous shade. Now I am taking my um, Wet and Wild Precious Petals Highlighter and I'm highlighting uh, the inner corner of my eye as well as my brow bones with this lip brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I am elongating the inner corner of my eye and I am giving it a V shape just so that my eyes look elongated, wider and bigger. I am curling my lashes with my eyelash curler and now I am just applying a coat of mascara. This is my Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. For my falsies, I am using these Gala Lashes from Kiss. If these lashes are not available uh, uh, in your country, I will mention some alternatives in the description box down below. And here is the completed look. I truly love the com color combination. It's my favorite. And you guys probably know I love colorful looks. So it. I love I just love the way how the look turned out and please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below and if you plan to recreate this look then feel free to tag me on Instagram it is at the rate Nita's glam world and uh, yeah please follow me on Facebook as well all the products uh, will be uh, listed in the description box down below so do not forget to check it out so yes yeah, see you soon in my next video till then bye and take care bye